Hey everyone, it's Jenny Peterson. Come jump on live with me. I'm really excited about this topic. This is a buzzword in today's society. What is an influencer? And are you an influencer? Okay, so jump on with me. While we're having people jump on, tell me where you're watching from. And I want you to tell me your favorite Netflix show in the comments below. Tell me your favorite Netflix show. Tell me your favorite, all-time favorite book that you've ever read. Tell me your favorite restaurant and your favorite pair of shoes. One of those or all of them, I wanna know. So comment when you jump on. Tell me your favorite Netflix show, your favorite book, where you got your favorite pair of shoes from and your favorite restaurant, okay? All right, hey, hello Shauna, how are you doing? Hey, Jessica, your favorite Netflix show is The Ranch. I like that one too. Yes, hello. Okay, you guys, I want you to tell me your favorite Netflix show, favorite book, favorite pair of shoes. Where did you get them from? What are they? Are they a pair of pumps? Is it your sneakers? What is it? And your favorite restaurant, okay? So jump on with me. This is one of my favorite topics. What is an influencer? It's like a big buzzword today. And are you an influencer, okay? So being a social media influencer, that's like a really big buzzword. Think of all the social media platforms. We have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Snapchat, there's Twitter, there's so many. And think about the influencers that you see on there. And what is an influencer? I wanna know what your definition of an influencer is. Can you please tell me? Okay, so what's your definition of an influencer? I wrote some down and here's something you might not know about me. I have the worst handwriting on the face of the planet. It's true. Like I am going to try to read my own handwriting. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's, I just go so fast. I don't have the patience for it. I'm going to try to read my handwriting. I wrote down some definitions of what an influencer is. Okay. An influencer is a person who influences another person. Okay. A social media influencer. I wrote this down, a user on social media who's established credibility, AKA trust, established credibility in a specific industry, has the ability to persuade others by virtue of their authenticity and reach, okay? Or a person who has the ability to influence potential buyers of a product or service by promoting um, or recommending items on social media. So we've all seen social media influencers. We've all followed social media influencers right? So I want to know you have bad handwriting too. Oh my gosh. It's something that I envy. Like my mom has beautiful penmanship. Like it's beautiful. Mine is like chicken scratch. It's horrible. It's horrifying. Like I could never leave journals for my children to pass on to my posterity because they'd be like, what is this? <laughs> so, okay. So we're talking about social media influencers today. All right, so that's the definition of a social media influencer or an influencer in general, and I wanna know what your definition of an influencer is, okay? So if you're just jumping on, I wanna know what your favorite Netflix show is, your favorite book, your favorite restaurant, or your favorite pair of shoes, okay? Put them below, all right? So I'm gonna share with you a couple of statistics. A couple of statistics. Word of mouth advertising is the best form of advertising out there. Did you know that? I want you to think about it. I want you to think about it. Word of mouth advertising, okay? So 90% um, of buyers said that they are influenced by word of mouth when making a buying decision, okay? And thank you for sharing. You're gonna wanna share this with your teams if you are in um, network marketing like I am. You're definitely gonna wanna share this with your teams because I'm gonna give you a mind-blowing aha moment, okay? Switch your mindset a little bit. So 90% of buyers are influenced by word of mouth when making a buying decision. 90%, okay? 92% um, of people trust recommendations from people they know, like family and friends. 70% of people trust anonymous reviews online. They trust a stranger that they don't know. How many of you read reviews? before you make a decision. And if something has a bad review, you're like, nope, I'm not buying that. But if something has a good review, you're like, I'll try this, everybody else loves it. Word of mouth advertising is the way to go, okay? So here's the thing. 
I'm gonna scroll through. I wanna see what you guys said. Your favorite show is Criminal Minds and Ghost Shows? <gasps> I can't. I love that you love that, but I will have nightmares for days. I can't do it. Thanks for sharing, Amanda. Let me know when you share. Um, word of mouth referrals is the highest compliment to a men. It is. That's the way that we grow our businesses too. Okay, so for example, my hair girl who I clearly need to make an appointment with, um, she said, anybody that you send my way, I'm gonna take $50 off your off of your next hair color, right? Because this is not, I'm not a natural blonde. Sorry to disappoint. It's not natural. But um, she doesn't just do that for me. She does that for everybody because she's building her business. She's building her client list. And word of mouth advertising is the way to go, right? I own a pest control company. Me and my husband own a pest control company. And we have a referral discount for our customers. When they refer somebody to us and they get pest control from us, they get a discount, right? It's the way to go. And people trust it. And it is the way of the future, you guys. It is the way of the future, okay? Um, you said that your favorite show is Vikings. Your favorite books are Lord of the Rings and you love the Olive Garden. I've been eating at the Olive Garden a long time, but it's so good, right? Um, let me see. You watch The Vampire Diaries and your favorite store is Target. Hello, yes, holla. Okay. Your favorite show is Grace and Frankie. Let me see. I'm reading your favorite shoes are your New Balance tennies. I love it. Okay, you guys, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Who can be an influencer today? Who could be an influencer today? Is it just celebrities? Is it just, you know, is it just for the rich and famous? No, here's the truth. Anybody can be an influencer today. And I would challenge that all of us are influencers. We are. We influence people or are influenced by other people every single day. Stay with me. I made a list, okay? With my chicken scratch handwriting that I'm going to attempt to read. Think about this. Think about this, okay? Um, we share recipes. Oh my gosh, girl, this dip is phenomenal. I must have the recipe. You gotta share it with me, okay? You're being an influencer when you do that. We share clothing, shoes, jewelry, all that stuff. Oh my gosh, where did you get those shoes? Girlfriend, I got them at Target and they're having a sale. Like, run. You know, we share that. We share um, makeup, hair care products. I don't even know how many wet brushes I have sold, okay? I don't get paid by wet brush to sell brushes, but it literally detangles my hair, detangles my girl's hair, and it's prevented screaming fits in the morning when we're getting ready. It's awesome, you know? So there's different things like that. They don't pay me. I just tell people about it because I love it, right? We share things like movies. Like, what was the, the best movie you saw, the last best movie that you saw? Or, um, for example, I wanted to take my kids to see Smallfoot. And my sister had seen it and I was like, hey, did you like it? What did you think? Was it worth it? And she's like, ah, oh, not so much. But the Grinch, you should go take your kids to the Grinch. That's what she said. Influencer, she was influencing me to make a decision, okay? We do this all the time. And women, we're especially good at this. It's like a gift. We don't even have to be trained on how to do it. We are the best at this. We are the best at this, at influencing people. Okay, vacations. Hey, I'm going to Hawaii. What should I do? Has anybody been there? Where's the best places to eat? Experiences, by the way, we did go to Hawaii for the first time. It's my favorite place I've ever been to. If you ever go, you have to do the night dive, manta ray night diving. Amazing. Once in a lifetime chance experience, okay? Amazing. It's not the replay, we're live right now, Heather. Thank you too, girl. Okay, yes, I used to watch The Bachelor all the time when I watched TV. I've since cut TV out of my life, but girlfriend, yes, right? Um, okay, let's see. Um, we share things like technology, like, hey, is the new iPhone any good? Should I get it? You know, stuff like that. We share appliances. Oh my gosh, my shark vacuum is my favorite. I like it better than my old Dyson vacuum. Or we share the fact that 
My favorite thing in my kitchen, you guys, is my Instant Pot. Is it Instapot or Instant Pot? I don't even know the name of it, but I use it every single day. That's not a lie. It's great for making large batches of rice, shredded chicken, which is all I can eat right now pretty much, and my steel cut oatmeal. I use that thing every single day. What is it called? Is it Instant Pot or Instapot? <laughs> Whatever it's called, you need it. I can make the most delicious shredded chicken dinner in, in 20 minutes. Fantastic, okay? First time, welcome Katrina, all the way from the UK. And thank you for sharing, you guys. Is it Instapot or Instant Pot? Now I don't know, but whatever it is, it's my favorite. We are influencing every day or we're being influenced by others every single day, okay? We share gadgets that make our life better. We share vehicles. Hey, should I get a Ford or should I get a Chevy? And people are very opinionated about certain things and they will tell you their opinion and you know what they're doing? They're not just influencing you, they are selling you. You are either being sold to every single day or you are selling somebody else on something else. We do it with recommendations with people, for example. Um, hey, I need a new babysitter. Does anybody have an amazing babysitter that they love and trust with their kids? Every time that you share that kind of information, you are being an influencer. Okay, I am literally right now, I'm in a chat with several women, like a text message chat, and we're discussing, should we do t-ball this spring or should we do baseball this spring? I don't know, my son really wants to do soccer. Do any of you guys know a really good soccer team or where I should go? Maybe we should all get our kids together to do soccer. Like, seriously, this is no joke. Um, whenever you ask a recommendation from like a neighbor, like, hey, who's your lawn care guy? I need somebody, or who put up your Christmas lights? Or I need a new tax consultant, who should I go to? Or who does your pest control? You know what I'm saying? Like you're being an influencer whenever you share that kind of stuff. Or when it's like, hey, who's your hair girl? Who's your nail girl? Um, even like teachers, I saw somebody say that they're an influencer. Yes, you are, you influence children, right? I influence my children all the time. You wanna know how I influenced my son last night at dinner? He is the pickiest eater ever. And that is not for me because I ate all of my vegetables growing up. I ate, ev I ate everything. Like I was such a good eater, you know what I mean? I don't deserve this. <laughs> it's from Preston, it's his fault because he's a picky eater. Anyways, the son of mine will eat nothing, okay? Well, I need to feed him some nutritious food, right? So I have influenced him um, to eat broccoli and this is how I did it. Um, he's six now, so we don't do it so much anymore. But when I was trying to get him to eat broccoli, I'd be like, okay, Bubba, eat broccoli. And he would take a bite of broccoli. And then I'd be like, flex your muscles. And then we would all freak out, like all of us at the table, be like, oh, your muscles just grew so big. Oh my gosh, when you eat your broccoli, your muscles grow. You're gonna be big and strong like daddy. I influenced him to eat broccoli and guess who I don't have to fight to eat his broccoli anymore. That's right. That's right. You know, and a lot of times our kids are influencing us like, mom, can I please stay up? It's Saturday. I did my chores. I'm a good kid. You know what I'm saying? They're doing that too. Okay. Um, even stuff like, Hey, where should I take my, my dog to get my dog groomed? We are all influencers, whether you know it or not. Whether you realize it or not, you are an influencer. I want you to put it in the comments below, in all caps, I am an influencer, because you are, and if you still don't believe me, I want you to just notice. Notice the conversations that you're having. Notice the conversations that you're hearing. Every single day, you are either selling something to somebody else, or they're selling something to you. You're either influencing somebody else, or they're influencing you. Every single day, especially women, we are the queens at this. We don't even have to try. I don't even have to train people how to do this. It is in them, okay? Here's the thing. That's what I do on social media. That's my job. This is my job. I come on here and I share the things that I love and I get paid to do it. It's phenomenal, <laughs> okay? And here's the thing, a lot of times when I ask people like, hey, have you ever thought about doing what I do? They're like, um, this is the response I get a lot. Well, I'm not a salesperson. 
Good. Girlfriend, I'm not a salesperson either. I had no previous sales experience before I did this. I'm not looking for salespeople. I'm looking for influencers. I'm looking for people who like to talk about things that they love with friends. That's what I'm looking for, influencers. That's right, I love it, I love saying I'm an influencer. You really are. And here's the thing, you don't have to make it weird. It's like people, when they get compensated for something that they're sharing, all of a sudden they're like, oh, I don't wanna bother my friends about my favorite mascara. If you weren't getting paid for it, you would have no problem sharing your favorite mascara. Do you know how I got into this business? Because my friend Stephanie, one day I was scrolling through Facebook, four and a half years ago, her face popped up. She had one eye with mascara on, one eye without, and she said, I just found the best mascara on the face of the planet. And I said, where can I get it? One picture, that's all it took. From my friend, word of mouth, you guys. We, we, we trust, 90% of us trust um, a recommendation from a family or friend when we're making a buying, a purchasing decision. We trust. If it had been a stranger that came through my newsfeed, somebody that I didn't know, if it had been a model, if it had been a celebrity even, I might've just scrolled by, but since it was my friend and I trusted her and I was like, you know what? She said she found the best mascara on the face of the planet. Oh my gosh, look at her eyelashes. Get on my face, I need that. That's how I got started in this, one picture. One picture, okay? Thank you so much, you're so sweet, you guys. So that's the thing. I was influenced by my friend to try a product. She was not a presenter. She wasn't getting compensated by telling me that she loved the product, but she, her picture influenced me to buy it. And then guess what? I loved it. <laughs> and I've been talking about mascara ever since. And it's not weird. It doesn't have to be weird or awkward. I'm talking about something that I love, that I genuinely love. I can't live without it. I buy it in bulk. Actually, I'm on a subscription, so it comes to me automatically so I can get the free shipping. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be weird, and it's not salesy sharing the things that we love. Do you feel weird when you talk about your favorite Netflix show? No. Do you feel awkward or spammy when you're telling somebody about a new restaurant that you tried that was delicious? No. Do you feel weird when somebody asks you, hey, where did you get your purse? Where did you get your shoes? Where did you get that outfit? I've got to have it. And you tell them where you got it. Is that weird? No. This is what we do every single day. The difference is, is that you can actually talk about the things that you love. And I think it's important if you're going to get into um, becoming a social media influencer, if you're going to get into that kind of thing, that you do get into something that you love because you have to love it, to share it, to talk about it. You know what I mean? Because then it's not weird. It just feels very natural and it's something we do on a daily basis that we don't get compensated for anyways. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Like when somebody comes into my house and they see my rug in the front room and they're like, where'd you get that? And I tell them where I got it, I'm not getting compensated. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's not weird. Or like this, this. Nobody tell me I'm gonna get wrinkles from drinking out of a straw, okay? Because every time I drink out of a straw, somebody tells me that, it's okay, I will get Botox or something, okay? I'm not worried about it right now. I'll worry, I'm not worried. This, my friend tagged me in a post. My Facebook friend tagged me in a post today with her bang energy drink. Cause she knows I love these and she knows I drink them on my lives. And she said, Jenny, I'm hooked. <laughs> Do I get paid from bang? No, but I'll tell you what, it's my favorite energy drink, 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I know, but I need it in my life. Anybody else addicted to caffeine? It's all good. Uh, BCA amino acids, yes. Branch channel amino acids, it's BCAAs, yes. That's so good for you, I drink those before, not this specifically, but BCAAs, I drink before, during, and after my workout. It's gonna help you if you're lifting weights, by the way. Creatine, that helps build muscle. Zero sugar. It's my favorite. 
And guess what? I just influenced you. <laughs> but it's not weird because I actually love that. So I know that when you go out and you buy a Bang Energy drink, you're gonna tag me in a post and be like, oh my gosh, this is delicious. I can keep up with my toddler. Thank you so much. My favorite flavor, you know what is the funniest? When Preston goes to the gym with me and he carries around the, the flavor Rainbow Unicorn. <laughs> I die every time. I'm like, you do realize you are walking around a gym full of muscled up people and like men and you're sweating and you're lifting weights and you're drinking a drink called Rainbow Unicorn right now. I die. It is so funny. And the reusable Strata boot. Yes. Thank you. This is, if you haven't tried so first of all, save the environment. <laughs> Second of all, um, if you haven't tried drinking from a steel straw, it will change your life. It makes your drink taste better. Influencer. <laughs> so I want you to just notice the conversations that you're having every single day. When you're recommending something to somebody, when they're recommending something to you, that natural exchange that we as women do on a daily basis, I want you to hear my voice in your head the next time you recommend something. Influencer, influencer, influencer. Okay? Because you are an influencer. You are an influencer and you can do what I do on social media and be compensated for it. Seriously. It's the best job on the face of the planet. This is my J-O-B, my full-time job, my six-figure job sharing what I love on social media. Changed my life. And it's not weird, and it doesn't have to be spammy, and it doesn't have to be, I'm not looking for salespeople. I don't want somebody to be like, hey, I just got this notebook. <laughs> I'm dropping stuff. If you want this, you can order it in the next 20 minutes and I'll throw in a second notebook for only $19.99. No! No, that's weird. Okay, nobody wants that. All you have to do is be yourself and recommend the things that you love and you use on a daily basis. And by the way, you get compensated for it really nicely. Win-win, win-win. You look at the influencers on social media, the people that I know you are following on Instagram, Facebook, the people that you're following on YouTube and I want you to notice are they sharing products with you? Is it weird when they share products with you? I follow this girl on um, Instagram. She posts a picture of the cutest dress I've ever seen. Guess what? There's a discount code. Guess what? I know that means that she's getting compensated when I buy that dress. I don't care. I'm saving 15% with her discount code. And when it arrives in the mail, I feel like a hot mama, okay? So I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Do you think she feels bad? No. Should I feel bad? No. This is the way of the future. This is the way that advertising's going. This is the way that marketing's going. Word of mouth, influencers. That's the way that it's going. And you can be an influencer too, okay? So I hope if you guys got some like, drop a exploding brain emoji <laughs> below if I just blew your minds. Because I hope that I flipped a switch in you to know that you could actually do this you could do this and you absolutely could do it. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You're so cute though. Yeah, what do you mean no way you have kids? I have three. Mm -hmm. Three. My girls are 11 and nine and my boy is six. Oh, I love it. The exploding brain emojis, right? If you got some value out of this, you can share it with your teams. If you do what I do, um, if you want to do what I do, I need you to message me. I need you to, what should we do? Drop a unicorn emoji, okay? That will be our secret word, a unicorn emoji. Because if you say influencer, like t thousands of people have said influencer and I won't know <laughs> to reach out to you. Drop a unicorn emoji and rainbow unicorn bang drink. That's how we'll do it, okay? And I can message you and we can chat. All right. Okay, you guys, thanks for jumping on. Where do you get bang? Walmart. Seriously, 
Um, it's like two bucks. Sometimes they have it on sale for a dollar eighty nine. I think they're on sale for right now. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. My favorite flavors: Star Blast, Cotton Candy, Blue Ras, Peach Mango, Rainbow Unicorn. Okay, Amanda, I'll message you. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope I changed your, um, your mind a little bit about what an influencer is, that you actually are an influencer. Notice the conversations that you're having. The next time that you recommend something to somebody, I want you to hear my voice. You're an influencer. I feel like Woody in Toy Story when he's yelling at Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, hashtag mom life. I'm using Disney references. It's Disney, right? Pixar? I don't know. And he's like, you are a toy. I want to like shake you and be like, you are an influencer. You can do what I do. And it's the best job on the face of the planet. Okay. You love that I'm not using plastic straws anymore. I know there's a better way. People used to always yell at me for my plastic straws. Anyways, I got to run. I got to run a girl. Actually, I got to do some stage makeup. I got to run my baby to her play. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have an amazing night. And let's chat if you want to do what I do, okay? Bye, guys. Love you.